hello and welcome to my youtube channel Camvis. in this video we are going to discuss IUPAC nomenclature of amines amines depending upon the number of R groups attached to nitrogen are primary secondary tertiary or quaternary we will start with the IUPAC nomenclature of primary amines a primary amine can be represented as R and H2. If R is an alkyl group, then the IUPAC name is alkane X amine, where X is the position of amino group on the parent chain. If R is an alkenyl group, then the IUPAC name is alk Y in X amine where Y is the position of double bond and X is the position of amino group. If R is an alkynyl group, then the IUPAC name is alk y ion x amine where Y is the position of triple bond and X is the position of amino group. Now we will go through examples. We will start with the simplest amine called methyl amine. As we know that IUPAC name of alkyl amine is alkane X amine. Since the parent chain has only one carbon atom, so by default X is equal to 1. So there is no need to mention it in IUPAC name. Thus, the IUPAC name will be methanamine. Similarly, ethylamine will be called as ethanamine. N propyl amine. General IUPAC name is alkane X amine. In 3 carbon or higher amines, it is necessary to mention the position of amino group. So, there is need to number the carbons of parent chain. While numbering, the carbon attached to the amine is given number 1. So, the numbering will be 1, 2 and 3. Here, we can see that there are 3 carbons in the parent chain with x is equal to 1. So, the IUPAC name will be propane 1-amine, isopropyl amine. General IUPAC name is alkane X amine. Numbering will be 1, 2 and 3. Here we can see that the number of carbons is 3 and the value of X is equal to 2. So the IPAC name of this compound will be propane 2 amine. Another example here, this is 5 carbon chain that will be treated as parent chain. Numbering will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 like this. There are two substituents an ethyl at C2 and a methyl at C4 and position of amine that is X is equal to 1. So the IPAC name will be 2 ethyl 4 methyl pentane 1 amine. Let's have an example of cyclohexane based primary amine. Here the cyclohexane ring is the parent hydrocarbon. Numbering will start from the carbon attached to NH2 and it will be in counterclockwise direction as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Here we can see that apart from NH2 there are two more groups attached to the ring. A fluoro at C3 and a methyl at C5. Since by default, the carbon attached to the NH2 is number 1. 
So, there is no need to mention it in the IUPAC name. So, the IUPAC name of this compound will be 3 fluoro 5 methyl cyclohexanamine. If there are two NH2 groups, then the IUPAC name is alkane XY diamine, where X and Y are the position of NH2. One thing which is to be noted here is that in the case of diamine, alkane name contains E. For example, hexamethylene diamine is named as hexane 16 diamine. Example of primary amine with a double bond in R group. General IPSC name is alk y in x amine numbering of parent chain will be 1 2 3 and 4 like this since there are four carbon atoms in the parent chain so alk is but position of double bond is 3 so y is 3 and nh2 is attached to c1 so X is 1. Thus, the IPSC name will be but 3 in 1 amine. Example of amine with a triple bond in R group. General IPSC name is L Y I in X amine. Numbering of parent chain will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 like this. Since there are 7 carbon atoms in the parent chain, so alk is hept, position of triple bond is 5, so y is 5 and NH2 is attached to C2, so x is 2. Thus, the IPC name will be hep 5 in 2 amine. Now, we will discuss IUPAC naming of secondary and tertiary amines. These are the general structure of secondary and tertiary amines. Here, we can see that there are more than one R groups. In these cases, parent chain is the R group with the greater number of carbon atoms. If there are cyclic and acyclic R groups, then irrespective of number of carbon atoms in the ring, cyclic R group is the parent chain. If there are more than one cyclic R groups, then the bigger cyclic R group is the parent ring. For the additional substituents on the nitrogen, that is, the R groups other than parent chain, prefix N in italic are used before the name of these substituents. Let's go through examples. Ethyl butyl amine. There are two R groups, one with four carbon atoms and other with two. So, the four carbon group will be the parent chain. Numbering will be one, two, three and four like this. There is an ethyl group attached to the nitrogen. So, it will be written as N-ethyl. Nitrogen is attached to C1 apparent chain. So, the IUPAC name of this molecule will be N-ethyl-but-1-amine. Another example, ethyl methyl butyl amine. In this molecule, 4 carbon R group is the parent chain. Other than this, there are two more R groups, an ethyl and a methyl. So, the IUPAC name will be N-ethyl, N-methyl, butane, 1-amine. Dimethyl butyl amine. The IUPAC name of this molecule will be N-N dimethyl but 1-amine. Another example. Here, 
द पेरेंट चेन हैज फाइव कार्बन चेन कॉल्ड पेंटेन नंबरिंग विल बी वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव लाइक दिस सब्सटिट्यूएंट्स देर आर थ्री मेथिल सब्सटिट्यूएंट्स टू ऑन नाइट्रोजन एंड वन एट सी थ्री नाइट्रोजन इज अटैच टू सी वन अपेरेंट चेन सो द आई पी एस सी नेम विल बी एन एन थ्री ट्राई मेथिल पेंटेन वन अमीन Similarly, we can name these three molecules as three chloro N N dimethyl butane one amine, N ethyl but one ene one amine, and N allyl butane one amine. Now let's have some examples with cyclic R groups. In this example, a cyclic R group has greater number of carbon than the cyclic one. Even then, cyclic R group will be treated as the parent chain, since by default the position of nitrogen on the ring is one. So there is no need to mention in IUPAC name. Thus, the IUPAC name of this molecule will be. N butyl cyclopropanamine another example in this example there are two cyclic r groups with different ring sizes so the cyclopentyl ring with greater number of carbon in it will be the parent ring and cyclobutyl ring will be treated as the substituent so the iupac name of this molecule will be n cyclobutyl cyclopentanamine iupac nomenclature of cyclic amines cyclic amines are named as aza cycloalkane or aza cycloal xene depending upon whether the ring is saturated or unsaturated numbering is starts from the nitrogen so by default it gets number 1 so there is no need to mention in the iupac name but we do need to mention it if there are more than one nitrogen atom in the ring for example piperidine it can be named as aza cyclohexane as it has a six membered ring with five carbon atoms and one nitrogen pyrazine it it is named as 14 diaza cyclohexane as it has a six membered ring with four carbon atoms and two nitrogen atoms at one and four positions Let's name this piperidine derivative. The numbering will be one, two, three, four, five, and six like this. There is an ethyl group at C three, and two methyl groups, one at nitrogen, and another at C four. So it will be named as three ethyl N four. dimethyl aza cyclohexane last example in this the first carbon of alkene is c3 and there are two methyl substituents at c3 and c4 so it will be named as 34 dimethyl aza cyclohex 3 ene that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video